What's up everyone, welcome to your 18th, I believe, C++ tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be going over an if-else statement. In the last tutorial, we went over an if statement, which, which said, alright, if you do this, then run this. If not, skip it. Well, in this case, uh, is we're going to tell C++, alright, evaluate this. If it's true, run this. But if it's not, don't skip it and run this bit of code. So instead of just saying skip it, it gives it another option. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is declare a variable. And I'm going to make mine answer since we're going to be building a short little quiz for this tutorial. So now we have a variable card called answer. So now we have an answer. Let's ask a question. Let's ask how old is Bucky? And in the line and let's give the user a way to input their answer and you use this if you've been watching my tutorials um cn is going to let the user input a number and one once it does input that number it's going to set it equal to the variable answer so now we have um a question on the screen and the user inputs an answer now let's tell c++ what to do with it we said all right if the variable answer is equal to and make sure you have two equal signs instead of just one if you have it one it's going to try to set the variable equal to it if you have two it's going to compare it so you want two. if answer is equal to 21 then we want you to output on the screen don't forget your uh, brackets we want you to output on the screen um, your right Bucky is 21. And oops, that's embarrassing. And then let's just end that line. And now we need to build our brand new else statement. So unlike before, if this evaluates false, it doesn't just keep going. We want to give it another option. And since this is the only option, then we don't ever need a test condition for else. So again, if this is true it's gonna run this but if it's false it's gonna run this option so let's just say alright if you give us the wrong answer then we want to output on the screen you're wrong and then let's just um, in that line so to recap one more time here's what's going on we have a variable we ask the question that the user um, inputs in whatever number the user inputs it's going to set it equal to the variable answer so if you guess it right and I am and you enter 21 it's going to be equal to 21 and it's going to output this you're right Bucky is 21 but if not it's going to out it's going to go to your else and it's going to output you're wrong so let's recap uh, not recap let's run this so you guys can see what's going on hopefully I didn't mess anything up and here's our program right now how old is Bucky let's go ahead and press 21 press enter and it says you're right Bucky is 21 but let's go ahead and um, run that one more time so we give it the wrong answer and it says how old is Bucky um 45 you're wrong so um, let me just show you guys all let's just go over this one more time an if statement alone with it that without the else statement it's gonna check if this test condition is true and if not it's gonna move on to the rest of your program what the else statement does is give your if another option so instead of saying alright if this is false then instead of running this bit of code run this bit of code and then move on to the uh, later parts of your program so those are your basics of your if else statement and if you want to get the source code I'm gonna be posting it on my website the new boston.com so you can just copy it from there and put it right into your compiler yourself without having to type all this so thank you guys for watching I hope you learned the basics of if else statement and I'll see you guys next time